Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, women and gentle women, weaves and weave lits. My name is Creeter. Alongside my beautiful co-host in the right corner, we have the amazing Venom. Yeah. Hmm. And in the left corner, we have Leon. Hey. All right, so I'm, I'm going to need all everybody here to raise your hand if you like good looking women that can shoot guns. Cool, because that's what we're talking uh -huh. about today. So uh, you ever heard of a show called uh, Black Lagoon? I mean, it's I mean, it's not really that famous or anything, but yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. Uh, main character Revy, you know, complete hottie, complete badass, you know, underground world of uh, uh, of crime and all kinds of crazy stuff. Yeah, we're, we're talking about her. Okay. Or to some who apparently has corrected in some pronunciations, Levy. Yeah. But we're, but we're, but we're calling her Levy. Yep. So, uh, just in case you uh, don't know about her, um, her real name is Rebecca Lee, female, obviously. I female uh you know in case you guys didn't know it's never specified her age but it's estimated to be in her mid to late 20s and um yeah she is a chinese american uh slightly tan skinned woman of approximately uh, moderate height in her mid to late 20s uh, with burgundy hair or, or brown in the manga and uh you know she typically keeps in uh keeps in low loose ponytail with rather large bangs falling onto her forehead on either side uh auburn burn eyes a tribal tattoo that reaches all the way to her neck on her upper right arm a medium size bus uh well you know <laughs> unless you read the doujin uh and she keeps, uh, she keeps like in shape, you know. So, you know, she keeps in shape. She's got a uh, slightly muscular build uh, that she doesn't concede in the least, in spite of her uh, slender belt. So, you know, she's got some muscle on her. You know, she's in shape. She, you know, she likes to 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 keep in shape and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, so she is a man. There's a, there's a lot of ways to describe her, but, you know, she's a troubled, loudmouth, rude, sarcastic, deadly, short-tempered, uh, confident, and aggressive woman. And, uh, yeah, basically she's undiplomatic, uh, believing in the use of uh, force to get her way. And of all the characters in this series, she is the... She has the, uh, she likes to say uh, a lot of four uh, letter words, you know, we'll, we'll leave it at that, uh, which I don't mind at all. You know, she likes to drink, she likes to smoke, she likes to say four letter words. I don't see a problem, you know, and uh, anyway, uh, just to get into her a, a little bit of, of background again, you know, again, in case you guys don't know, uh, which I highly recommend you checking out the series, whether that be the manga or whatever it be the anime, uh, it's it's really good, you know. But yeah, so she was uh, born in New York City. Few, few details are known of her past, as well as what is gathered is from brief flashbacks from both the manga and the anime. She was born as, again, Rebecca Lee, a Chinese American, uh, in a poverty struck in chi uh, Chinatown district of New York City and raised by a, a abusive alcoholic father. And one day after fleeing from one of her father's, uh, you know, rages, she was arrested, beaten, and raped by a corrupt police officer. Upon being returned home following uh, this ordeal, she shot and killed her father uh, after he rudely asked her for another drink using a pillow as a silencer. 
in volume 19, approximately chapter 72, she uh, says she quit alcohol partway through middle school. Or, I'm sorry, she, not alcohol, she quit school. She dropped out in middle school. Uh, so, that's her highest form of education, but, you know. And there were apparently similar instances between her and the police, you know, uh, throughout the years. Eventually, the assault resulted in Levy, or Rebbe, losing her faith in God, leading her to believe that the police uh, abused her because, to them, she was just another ghetto rat with no power, no God. And, uh... And she was acquitted to do in jail time in Buffalo Hill, where it's mentioned that the warden knew her. And it is hinted she is an escape felon, but it's unknown how she ended up, uh, you know, and, and her current uh, mercenary predicament, basically. So. And she's got, you know, she's got some, you know, relationship stuff. So, like, you know, with. with the biggest one really being Rock, uh, and then you have you know Dutch and and Benny and all these other great characters. But I don't want to spoil it because, especially with Rock, because uh, yeah, you'll just have to uh, check out the series if you want to more know on that. But that's essentially just a brief synopsis of her. And yeah, she, you know, she is one of my you know favorite female gunslayers. I mean, she was on. Uh, call back to the top five gunslayers in anime slash manga, you know, or video that we made where we gave our top five females. Uh, but yeah, she's definitely one of my favorites. And if you hadn't seen the show, you really should go watch it. All right. Well, since Streeter gave that rousing description of uh, her background, allow me to let you know the weapons of death she used. So. In case any of you did not know this, our beloved Rebby here uses a pair of modified Beretta 92F pistols. Now what makes these so special to Rebby is that she has extended the normal barrel of 4.9 inches to 5.9 inch. The 5.9 inch barrel is the combat mod barrel that is one of the few attachments for the Beretta 92. There, which allows them to be adapted for silencers or to you mil ex-military and or very gun enthusiast depressors. They are engraved with the word 9mm sword cutlass on both sides. Of course, paying homage to the Jolly Roger of the Pirate Calico Jack which is also inlaid into the ivory grips that are also included with these two. Well, what makes this special is that Rebby is ambidextrous. Now, in case you don't know what that means, it means she is not dominated by, she was not right-handed or left -handed. She can use both. Now, in case if you don't know, go ahead and take a look up of what these pistols look like, and you'll understand why they are so close and so well used by Red. But yes, they are a very favorite of a lot of arms dealers. So, Venom, why don't you uh, educate our users on just a couple of key facts for Beretta 92F? Well, first off, what I'm going to say about this gun is that the model code is JS92F300FC. The model name is 92FS. It was actually made in Italy, surprisingly. Thought it was made in America, but we all can't make great things. Um, but keep our country great. Uh, the um, MSRP, I have no idea what that means, but it is $682,000. The action is double and single. The caliber is 9mm and it has 10 rounds. Barrel length is 125. The barrel length in is 4.9. The caliber is 9x19 para. 
Magazine is 15. Overall height is 137. Overall height in is 5.4. Overall length mm is 217. And overall length in is 8.5. Overall width mm is 38. Overall width in is 1.5. Sight radius in is 6.1. Sight radius MM is 155. Weight unloaded G is 945. Weight unloaded OZ is 33.3. So that's a pretty stout pistol, folks. I mean, I, I mean, I'll be honest. It's not a. I mean, it's, it's not as powerful as a 45. But I mean, if you want something quick and uh, lethal, nine millimeters got you covered. Yep, uh, and another callback is we actually did a comparison to the 9mm and uh, the 45 ACP, so you can go check that out if you want uh, in our Drunken Gun podcast. But yeah, uh, it's it's fast, right? So it, it's fast, and the velocity, it's, it's coming at you at a higher speed. So Yeah, of course, and a creator, if you don't mind me. And in case any of you uh, want to learn more, there are many other YouTubers out there that have done videos on it. One main noticeable one that we can actually back is the awesome, awesome Demolition Ranch. Yes. Because, I mean, this guy has done so many videos, some of them including 9mm on each and every one of them. In case yes. you need more proof, go ahead and check the videos. The guy is yes, yeah, definitely. Check. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt, but definitely check him out because he's the reason that I definitely want a 50 Beowulf. And uh, as soon as I get the money, I'm gonna buy one. So <laughs> we all want a 50 Beowulf, reader. We all want a 50 Beowulf. As soon as I get the money. Well, I mean, if anyone else has anything else to include, um. Yeah, I just I just wanted to uh, to to uh, blah, 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 say uh, based on the manga and the anime, do you guys think that uh, they kept up the gun realistically? I would have to say, I mean, looking back, but I'd have to look back on the entire anime. I don't think either one of us want to do that right now tonight. I'll just say this: I think. In some cases, they, they kept up realistically with that with the pistols. Sometimes, in other cases, it may they may have pushed it a bit too much. Well, uh, that's my opinion. What about you, Reader? Yeah, I, I was just going to say pretty much the same thing. Um, basically, when it comes to... And, and it, it, right, anime and movies do this a lot, right? Uh, some movies and some anime are better than others, but there's always going to be that little hint of exaggeration right um with a slight undertone of of reality so of course it's not always perfect but you know they it, it gets it gets the gist Pretty right much. and it's got a, it's got a slight under i'm sorry I, I flipped that it's realistic with a slight tone of exaggeration so but in some cases it works to their benefit others not so. I mean, yeah. I, I still think, uh, and I know, I know definitely Leon would agree with me. I don't know if uh, Venom has ever seen the series, which if he hasn't, you you should go watch it. But yeah, uh, a great example would be uh, uh, Cowboy Bebop, right? Spite Spielberg, Vanessa Valentine, Jet. Whew. So. But yeah, that's the that's the only thing I have else I have to say. Uh, no, the only thing the only thing I'll add is uh, you know, uh, appreciate you guys watching the video. Uh, you guys have been amazing. If you guys have anything else, uh, you know, leave it leave it in the comments. We we check our comments and we will respond. So if you have anything else or anything that we miss, you know, go ahead and let us know. So just don't be a uh, just don't be a sourpuss about it. So, because we, as you guys know, we don't have the numbers to the whammy ones. So, and we're not perfect, okay? The golden rule is to always remember, always, always remember 
to keep your beer cold and your ammo freshly hot. And uh, yeah, we'll we'll see you next time. Peace. Peace. Peace.